In the final post credit scene for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, we see a time-displaced version of Kang the Conqueror giving a presentation under the assumed name of Victor Timely. Considering even the most battle-hardened comic nerds might not know exactly who Victor Timely is, today we wanted to review this variant of Kang and outline his complete comic history. It's not a whole lot, this is just meant to be a bite-sized little nugget of a video. You might be asking yourself, is Victor Timely the next Thanos? Is he more powerful than Stormbreaker Thor? Can he solo the entire Avengers team? No, not at all, but let's discuss. Also keep in mind, I checked with a number of online sources for additional info, and a lot of them had crap wrong anyway, so most of the info out there seemed to be copy-pasted from other articles trying desperately to get clicks without doing any actual research. The first appearance of Kang as Victor Timely appeared in Avengers Annual 21 from 1991. Let's go ahead and check the price on eBay here. And are you out of your mind? This book is not going to retain value. Avengers Annual 21 was a mismatch of various Kang stories, all collected in one edition. While the issue itself features multiple writers, the mini story within that featured Victor Timely was written by Peter Sanderson and drawn by Rich Janizewski. The story begins with a jilted variant of Kang's former lover, Ravona Renslayer, a time-displaced version of Nebula. Ravana is reviewing the history of the previous escapades of Kang's former lives and trying to make sense of them, as the nature of Kang is to be extremely problematic to track through time and space. Kang at this point was believed to be stuck in a state of suspended animation, stuck between life and death. Ravana is attempting to understand the Council of Kangs when she learns her former mentor was none of the Kangs that she had ever encountered. Instead, robotic duplicates of himself put into various timelines to run them as he saw fit. The Council of Cross-Time Kangs was comprised of people who had often beaten these robotic duplicates and taken the mantle of Kang for themselves after acquiring the technology that the robot left behind in its defeat. The true Kang, Kang Prime, organized the remaining counterparts and the successful Slayers into a council of cross-time Kangs. Ravana learns that all the scheming and machinations were done so that Kang could secretly look for the one thing he was truly searching for. Ravana herself, or more accurately, his Ravana from the past. The perfect Ravana for Kang Prime. But Kang eventually had so many run-ins with the Avengers that his search stopped as he formed a new plan of search and attack. He formed Chronopolis, a city that he built outside of space and time, and you can kind of think of this as the city we see in Ant-Man and Wasp Quantumania, it's a very similar concept. The quantum realm is outside of space and time as we know it within the MCU, and Chronopolis is outside of space and time within the comic book universe. Kang Prime journeys back to 1901 and forms the town of Timely, Wisconsin. There, he redubbed himself Victor Timely as a disguise, as Kang often does, and he builds factories, leads the industrial revolution in the area, and he's pretty much heralded as a genius. Obviously, he comes from the year like 12 billion or whatever, so Kang of course would seem like an absolute genius to these people. Kang used this space in Wisconsin to grow an empire, all the while searching for his Ravana. He replaced himself as Victor Timely with multiple robots who all appeared to get older and eventually die, eventually returning to Timely, Wisconsin, this time as Victor Timely Jr. in 1929. In 1939, he helped develop technology that led to the creation of the first Human Torch, the first android in the Marvel 616 comic universe, and ultimately he helped usher in the Age of Heroes. In the 1980s, Kang assumed the guise of Victor Timely III and grew the company to become a technological powerhouse. His company's computer chips were found in things like Misty Knight's robotic arm, Deathlock the Demolisher, and all sorts of Fantastic Four technology. It's pretty ironic that his company, using technology from the future, helped develop modern technology that's then later used by the Fantastic and Avengers to defeat him. We get additional backstory about how insanely complicated Kang's lies have became over the years. He actually often claims to be a far descendant of himself, of both Reed Richards and Victor Von Doom. It's all very complicated and messy. The issue ends with Ravana breaking down at the prospect of Kang searching for her, starting a new search for a way to revive him. However, elsewhere we see another variant of Kang, Amoris, and a variant of Ravona discussing how each person becomes a very different version of themselves, and actually feeling pity for this version of Ravana. 
And ultimately, to me, that's the scariest thing about Kang. You never really are done with this dude. There's always so many different versions of him out there scattered across space and time. You kill one and then two more pop up. He's he's like he's like cockroaches. And that is it for this video on Victor Timely, aka Kang the Conqueror, aka Kang Prime. I hope you learned a lot, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe and do all that other crap that YouTubers ask you to do. This has been Nick with Key Issues, and remember the motto, Kang over everything.